two weight classes, you must smash and fight ready assassin. Gas till I'm passing, I'm double leg, I've been tapping them. Who was the first to bring the smoke straight to Adesanya? This 5'9 middleweight, call me the brown bomber. What's up, everybody? Saturday, September 16th, we are headed to T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. The co-main event will be Shavkat Rachmanov versus Kelvin Gastelum. How badass is that fight? fight with Shavkat Rachmanov is off on in September 16th. I, I feel bad. I feel very horrible about this unfortunate incident. Clap there. Go. Cool. <clears throat> okay, now. Yeah? Good? Is it good? Okay. <laughs> yep. Um. Okay, so, so Kelvin, what has been, would you say, the biggest adversity of this fight camp so far? This is the first time that you're going to 170 for a long time. Yeah, the process has been a hard one so far. It's been a, a highly intense camp just because of the uh, the weight descent, right? Uh, we have, I, I mean, uh, I'm a thick guy, so I stay pretty thick off season. So coming into the camp, I was not where I wanted to start off camp. So we knew that uh, once starting camp, we, we'd have to, we did that not only work on our skill set, but also work on calorie deficit. And so we've been on a calorie deficit now for, for quite some time. Once I came back from Thailand, I, I got with my team and, um, and we really got to work. I mean, I haven't stopped working every single day uh, and every single hour of my day is counted towards something right so towards a goal that I have kind of done it all in this sport already in 10 years and um, I still feel so new which is crazy I still feel very very new I still feel very very green I'm still learning every single day which is why I'm still getting up in the morning, right? I don't, I'm not fulfilled with what I've done. I'm not fulfilled with what I've learned. I'm not, just not filled, you know? And the main thing was the UFC title. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I haven't won a UFC title yet. And I feel like I'm still able and capable to win a UFC title. And uh, until I do, and or until I, I feel I can't, um, then I will give it a rest, right? But until then, I'm in my element, it's evident that this level to the game. All of those dark nights I got then breaking my back to make it out, got me feeling like rain. I ain't never need your help, I'm like wishing me well. I'm ready for your thoughts, but seeing no change. Snap for the sun like Diddy. The riches got a mad at son, I'm like Billy. I ain't never switch up, whole team with me. Putting on for my city like OAG. Set the pace as long as you finish. Consumers find a way inside your business. Babylon, they try to dabble in it and they hate the fact that they may have to witness. You trying to aim for the top like this, and you're in your element with a fire like this, and they hope you fall in the brain, you miss, but it's all in the So far, we've had some of the best sparring I've had all camp. 
and uh, all everything is coming together quite nicely. The 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 team is happy. The coaches are happy. I'm happy that they're happy because if they're happy, then they all they lay off my back, right? So uh, it, it gives me a little bit less stress to deal with, which is what I want, right? Just simple stuff. Simple stuff I'll talk to you about, you know? Yeah. It's all my favorite. Um, how, how was the week today? My way 196.8. We need to be 195 by Sunday and 190 by November 24th. Okay. Well, let me ask you something. Let me something real quick. So, by Monday, I say Monday is the Sunday, you said the 12th? Yeah, sun, this Sunday, we're looking to be 195. And then by the 24th, 190. Correct. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just trying to look at the realistic thing. I mean, how realistic is variable is 1.85 for next year, guys? Uh, from what he's done this week, where Monday he was 198.5 and today he's 196.8, it's it's a possibility for sure. If he keeps in this calorie deficit, we keep work coming, and there's no outside calories that Charles hasn't prescribed, it, it's it's doable. It's doable. It's not normal, but none of this camp's been normal. Um, yeah, I, th I think it's doable, Dave. Again, we're here to support you. I want you to be happy. Dave. We love you, brother. Thank yeah. Thank you. Be we're happy. here to support you. No, we're getting it done. Yeah, so what, what do you think about kind of the fat jokes that people make about Kelvin and, and Shavkat Rachmanov, who he was supposed to fight, kind of questioning that he, the only reason he backed out of the fight was because he couldn't make weight? Like, what, what are your thoughts on that? Um, I, it's just like the narrative people have been wanting to say about Kelvin since earlier in his career when he was younger, he wasn't as disciplined. He made those mistakes where he didn't make weight. So people want to hold him to that narrative, but the truth is like, Kelvin's an adult now. He's, you know, in his early 30s. He's way sharper about his career, business, everything. So it's just them trying to like keep him in that same Kelvin from when he was younger. They don't know him now at all. Uh, a lot of that stuff, he's able to like laugh off. He's great about that. It doesn't affect him like people think it does. Um, literally in camp, in our meetings, like jokes get cracked about him all the time. Um, he's in with those jokes though. Like he, he's able to laugh them off. We all know that he's on track to make weight. Um, it's do or die. He's going to get there. And uh, this is a new Kelvin, so new new chapter for him, totally. Because I don't think either is fluent in their native tongue. Back running out on Ohio to finish the job. Ohio, let's go. Blink! Yeah, these are the meals made by Eat Meal Meal Prep. Tells me the calories here, the carbs, the fat, the proteins, and um, you know everything's weighed out, measured by the meal prep company, and they just deliver it to me every week. So come here after practice, put it in there, heat it up, eat it, delicious, nutritious, and outstitious. <laughs> and cheat meals or you've been pretty disciplined nah we have no room for error so i've had zero cheat meals um so we're on our way to to have a good weight cut yeah my sister's been staying with me and she's been helping me out with whatever she can and she knows she knows me the best out of anybody she knows how to deal with me she knows what i need she knows what i want you know, she takes care of my laundry, she takes care of my food, she takes care of little things that I don't have the time or ability to do during the day. And uh, it's been great having her and my family around. I mean, they're really the driving force of what I do. I mean, I, I, you know, I don't have a girlfriend, I don't have a wife, I don't have kids. I have my family, I have my mom, I have my sister, and I have my family. So they're really the driving force of why I do what I do. And so... Uh, it's, it's been great having her, you know, I, I love my sister. She's like one of my best friends. And so, uh, having family around, 
uh, has been motivating, has been great for me, for my energy levels, for my stress levels. Um, it's been great. That better be in and out. <laughs> I'm gonna sue you. <laughs> or I'm gonna sue you. For what? For putting me on YouTube. Ah! <laughs> Can't do that. Oh, that's a good loss. <laughs> Let's go, let's go. Chef Bruno Bruno Silva. Here it comes. A picanha. The best steak that we have in Brazil. <laughs> Damn. Oh, we're starting to get excited. Starting to see the fruits of the labor and training, actually. And it, get, it only gets me excited, more motivated to uh, continue what we're doing because I know we're on track. And we're on route to uh, do something amazing on December 2nd. What do, you, what do you say to the people that are uh, are doubting you'll be able to make 170? I just, I don't got nothing to say to people. I just keep my mouth shut, you know, and uh, let the work, do, work speak for itself. So, you'll see. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you saw that? <laughs> you know what? I, I'm a guy that believes that things happen for a reason. So my journey will be my journey. You know, whatever happens, happens. And I always feel that way. And uh, I feel like whatever happens is supposed to happen, is what I mean. And so uh, there's always something to learn from these setbacks. And I always try and look deep into these lessons and apply them to my life and come out even better from it, come out as a better person, come out as a better fighter from it. And I feel like I've done that. You know, I've just made me be smarter about my fighting, be smarter about my training, be smarter about it all, right? So it's really molded me uh, into a much more mature fighter and um, also it comes with age, it comes with experience but but these setbacks really are the lessons that, that you take. So what, what's the ultimate goal then? We always say the hashtag on a mission for gold. Is that, is that really for you? You're just you're just so focused on getting that gold and there's really nothing nothing else right now just just singularly focus on doing what you need to to the fastest path to that welterweight title. Yeah man right now I'm super focused on getting to that title this is my absolute goal i realized that i don't have a lot of i can't fight forever you know um so so uh, i'm in the best physical prime of my my career right now i feel like i i can do it all right if i if i if i'm gonna do it i need to do it now right or not do it at all so uh i'm doing it now man i'm doing it now and i'm working very very hard to be able to do it and um one fight at a time though you know, Sean Brady's, on, Sean Brady's on the checklist right now. So we're focused on him 110%. And, uh, but the goal, the goal at the end of my career, I'm, I, I want to be a guy that, that everybody says, this guy didn't give up, you know. No matter what, KG never gave up in his fights. Never got tired, never, never gave up just because, you know, even with the, with the setbacks, came back, came back even better. You know, I want people to say that when at the end of my career. Yes! Yes! Uh, any anything else you you wanted to say or any any uh, closing thoughts? Mm, no. That's it. Oh, I think we're good. Hey, you. Yeah. Thanks for joining in. Please subscribe to the channel. If you can, it helps out a ton. And re please remember that none of this would be possible without Jimmy Bars. Go to jimmybars.com. They're available in all Walmarts across all U.S. locations. So please go ahead and get your Jimmy on.